four times up and down. Like, how did that feel? How does everything feel? It felt good. It felt good. Um, you know, I feel like uh, mechanically I stayed uh, where I wanted to be. Um, I don't feel like I got tired out there, so I feel like I'm in a good spot. Is the is fatigue with a pitch clock different than like what it is when you're the other games you started previously? Like, um, I don't think so because uh, you know I always work pretty quick, so. Um, you know, there's a couple situations where, uh, you know, you want to take a breather, but I think with guys on, that's generally when you want to do it, and you got a couple extra seconds. So um, I, have, I I think I'm getting used to it. You're dealing with adding, and you know, having to add endurance this year. What did you do to get ready for that? Um, a lot of running, a lot of conditioning in the offseason. Yeah. So you'll be set. You were like... You're, you were making that jump anyway. Like a lot of starting pitchers are going to have to increase their ability to work quicker. And yeah, I feel like uh, just the way I pitched, uh, you know, forever, uh, just being quick like that. Um, you know, first couple of bullpens we threw out here. You know, the, we had a little clock, but not even paying attention to it, and I was I was on time. So I like to work quick, anyways. Is starting like riding a bike? Like, are you back into the routine of being a starter and all that? You know, ramping up for the season. I'm getting there. Um, you know, I think just uh, mentality as far as uh, pitch sequences and, um, you know, how I'm going to execute certain pitches in certain parts of the game, uh, that's, you know, that's a work in progress. What's different about your day-to-day? Um, you know, it's, it's more scheduled. Um, you know, as a reliever, uh, building up in spring at least, you know, you know what days you're pitching, but you got to turn around and be ready to pitch in a day or two or the next day. So, um, you know, having a, having a routine and being able to focus on a few things, I think that's really helping me get in the spot I want to be. What was different about your offseason routine? You said running. Like, what certain <clears throat> anything else change or um, here? No, I, I kind of did similar workouts. I ran more, threw a lot more. Um, you know, I started throwing uh, about a month earlier. I started throwing bullpens a few weeks earlier than I usually would, and uh, try to get to uh, a higher pitch count quicker, and just kind of sit there and you know build up intensity. Once I I got to about 30, 35 pitches, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Did you add another pitch? That you didn't use when you were working on the bullpen. Well, I got a I got a new slider I was throwing out there today, so I was pretty happy about that. I know early on you said you were trying to differentiate between the cutter and the slider. Then you you went back to just the slider. Is that something you expect to do to just keep it to five and, and only the slider? Uh, we'll see. You know, I don't I don't want to make a commitment to that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you judge? Do you judge it differently? You know, as a starter and how you're. Okay, this outing versus when you were relieving for a few years. Um, not not in spring. Uh, you know, there's certain things I'm working on. Um, you know, uh, you want good results, but uh, that's not the uh, that's not what's most important. But uh, you know, good roles, results feel feel good. So um, I think pitching decent today was was pretty good. But I executed what I wanted to work on. So you know what you want to get up to next time. Um, I don't know. I'll let uh, Ruben make all those decisions.